Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the How to Write a Book podcast. Welcome to episode 132, um, also known as day 12 here in National Novel Writing Month. Y'all, I love NaNoWriMo. If you want more information on it, please go to NaNoWriMo.org. We are more than halfway through when this episode gets published. However, if you're on day 12 like I am, y'all do not beat yourself up. Do not tell yourself where you should have been, where you think you need to be. You know, all of those thoughts just delay you. They do not help you and they do not serve anyone else. So keep moving forward. All right. Today we're talking about fantasy. Now, tip number one of three for fantasy is world building. World building, world building, world building. Now, if you're doing fantasy, you know, there are uh, many different levels of fantasy. You have really light fantasy um, or you have like a really deep fantasy like J.R.R. Tolkien. But fantasy readers love the world. They want to know more about the world. They want to know what it's made out of. What are the people like? You know, what are um, architectural you know, histories or um, wars? You know, things like that. And even if your story is set in a, a fantasy world, but you, you believe that it's light on the world building, you still need to have that depth there because readers can tell when you have not done your own research on your own world. Like there's just this feeling of it being superficial. So when you're writing your fantasy, whether you're going to go light on the world building or heavier on the world building, make sure that you still do the same amount of world building because that's going to help your world feel richer, your characters feel deeper. You know, there's going to be emotional scars and past traumas that they're going to be dealing with. And all of that comes from the world building. And that's what readers really love inside fantasy. So whether you're going to go heavy or light, still make sure to do that research. All right. Thank you all so much for this first tidbit on fantasy. Tomorrow, we are going to be on tip number two and then tip number three, and then we go into memoir. Y'all, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you're having a wonderful November and NaNoWriMo. Hey there, writer. Thank you for listening to the How to Write a Book podcast with your host, Maciel Valenzuela. If you like the show, we'd be happy if you left a review. For more information on writing and the writer's life, go to www.themaciel.com. That's www.themaciel.com. We'll see you on the other side.